Hi, it's been one week. I'm back. Let's check out the Ground FX Grayscale. If you're as old as me, or older, you probably know that melody, but not in that version. Yeah, what does the grayscale do except of obviously distorting? It's ground effects take on the live pedal. I think it was made by Earthquaker. Uh, it's the sun signature pedal. It's a red distortion, a boost and an analog octave. It's gimmicky. I've built a clone. So uh, I can't really say how the original sounds, but I think the clone is approximately the same and it's just a gimmick. It's noisy, it's like monophonic, so the octave won't work on chords and it's an octave up, so not that funny. We're gonna check it out again with my trusty Chavo. Um, by the way, it's equipped with bare knuckle nail bombs, and I think I will change that up pretty soon. Um, not because I don't like them, but because I need to change things. So, this is my clean tone. I'm using a PV Alpha bass uh, because I figured 160 watts of full tube power is probably good for a doom device like this. So this is the clean tone. It's clean. <laughs> so yeah, let's engage it with everything turned up to the max. It's always the best setting on every pedal, right? As you can see, it's not reacting to the volume pot like the one I tried last week. Um, it reacts a bit, but it's like basically off distortion. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's try a setting I would actually use for a production. I really like it. It's basically yeah, a red distortion, but it has an active tone stack, so you can actually control highs and lows and not have that weird filter that the red has that's basically usable only halfway and the rest is like harsh city. This one's really usable. You can boost it with a Tube Screamer style pedal and it reacts like a red should. So let me show you that. Yep, 
that mid boost does it for me. Uh, it kind of makes it chuggy and like usable for even for hardcore or something like that. Not that it's unusable without it, but for the stuff I usually do, that mid boost is really great. So yeah, now for something completely different, I guess, because it really kind of works for, I don't know, punky indie, something like that. <laughs> insert emotion here <laughs> now for the fun part let's engage the octave um, I'm not gonna change the settings because the octave is adding a pretty substantial volume boost so we're gonna go back to distortion land so first let's just play open strings Now, that's, that's what happens. But now, the stuff I really love about that pedal is... is That's so cool. Um, it really sounds like that octave fuss thing, but in modern and in more controlled. So yeah, what's not to love about this? Um, all right, as this one has kind of lots of knobs, I've prepared a little knob twiddling sequence for you. Um, yeah, so as you will see the, the blend, only basically is another volume when you uh, play a guitar into a clean amp with nothing else but the grayscale because the clean signal is just not that loud so the whole thing will get like quieter and less distorted but not really blended it's great on bass though but let's watch that twiddling sequence thing everyone is talking about.
let's check how it works on bass. Um, first, without the blend engaged, it's like this. It's cool, but it's like losing some some impact. So let's give it some impact by blending the clean signal. Oh, and I I added some gain because. I love adding gain. Octave time, octave time. Alright, so this bass is tuned to C. The sub octave is still there, uh, even though it doesn't sound that cool anymore through my chain. But that's probably because I'm using uh, like a more guitar-oriented setup. I actually use my setup both for bass and guitar. So um, yeah, it's cool on bass too. Who would have thought? So what's to say? Um, it's not a novelty pedal. It's not a gimmick, it's a proper usable distortion that's very versatile and um, I, ju I just love the octave, it's so great. Um, first when I got this I thought like yeah awesome, it's a red with a blend and an active tone stack. So my first thought was that's gonna be so great on bass. and I was happy that uh, that the the octave was optional, but now um, I feel like the octave is what makes this pedal. It's 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 just fun. It's just great. Um, this is not a bread and butter pedal that you you need, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a bread and butter pedal for me because I just fell in love with that octave sound and I love playing like pentatonic stuff with that octave sound. Um, it's just the right combination and uh, if you're like me you should probably get it. And again this one's not for the modern metal player like at all. But that's okay. There will be stuff for the modern metal player really soon, but not yet. See you next week.